Expensive paints do not make good paintings. Okay, that's not exactly true. Let me just start by saying you can make really good paintings with expensive paints. You can create just as good of a painting with cheap paints as you can with expensive paints. When I talk about using cheap paints, I don't mean using paints like these. These are children's poster paints. These are super cheap and there are very, very few people in the world that are going to create good artwork with poster paints. What I mean by cheap paints are cheap, student quality acrylic paints, like this brand here from De La Rowney. One of the questions that I always get asked by you guys is what brand of paints am I using in my artwork? Here are some of the brands that I use, so you can see Abstract by Senelier, Dala Rowney Graduate and Pebio Studio. I also have some more expensive paints that I use for my professional quality work, but I use them very sparingly. If you're planning to sell your artwork for a lot of money, then obviously more expensive paints are going to be better, but if you're just practicing and developing as an artist, then cheaper student quality paints like the ones I've just shown are perfect. It's not the materials that make a picture, it's the skills and the processes that you develop over time that allows you to utilize those materials in an effective and efficient way. As a beginner, just starting out or midway through their artistic journey, it doesn't really matter what paints you're using. You can create the same finish with cheaper paints as you can with super expensive paints. Some of the artwork that I create, I don't use the most expensive paints in the world to create them, but yet they still have a high quality finish, but that is because I have already developed the skills and the understanding of the mediums to apply that paint in ways that work. One thing that people discuss with paints and good quality versus poor quality paints is the longevity of the paint. It's how long that painting will stay true to the original colours after it's dried. With acrylics, longevity is something that we are just understanding. Acrylics haven't been around for as long as oil paints. And because acrylics are a little bit plasticky, the paint itself is less prone to ongoing reactions. So it's less likely to yellow and less likely to fade. With oil paints, it's slightly different. My understanding with oils is that cheaper paints can dry yellow, they can look a little bit less saturated, they can start to wash out after a few years if they're not properly taken care of. I'll show you the brand of paints that I use and I've had no problem with them at all. They are relatively cheap, they're not super expensive paints, but they are good quality in my opinion. These are the oils that I use, Darla Rowney Georgian and Winter & Newton Winton oil colours. You don't need as many colours as I have here, just three to five tubes would be perfect. They were relatively cheap, about £3 for the small ones and £7 for the big ones, which equates to about 5 and $10. So as long as you're using a relatively well-known brand and a relatively pigmented brand, you're not going to have any issues with longevity and those paintings are going to last as long as they're stored properly. If you just leave them out in the sun all day, then that UV light is going to just bleach the colour. But that would happen with whatever paint you were using. So you've heard about the paints in this video. If you'd like to learn more about what brushes I use in my acrylic paintings, then why not check out this video here? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.